All right, in this geek tip, I want to show you how you can create uh, a log off, restart, and shutdown tiles on the start screen here. So, one thing I did notice is there's absolutely no way to, to perform a log off, or restart, or shutdown from the uh, from the start menu. So, I found a way to do it with simple shortcuts using the actual program that uh, performs these tasks. It's actually called Shutdown. And what I want to do is I'm going to create three shortcuts. But I'm going to do a little something special here. I'm going to create a, a folder right in the root directory. And this is where I'm going to create my shortcuts. And I'll show you here after I get done. Why? All the parameters and syntaxes are available over on Geeks and Phoenix. Just go over to the uh, geeksandphoenix.com, go into the Geek Tips Windows 8, and you'll find the uh, these tips and the exact full instructions and syntax and parameters for doing all these so let me just create these up real quick there's a couple of uh, little tweaks you have to do once we get them all done. Now you can give them any you know, name you really want, but now we want to go into the properties of each one of them. Since shutdown is actually a system program, doesn't have an interface, it actually runs through a command prompt. So we don't want to see that every time it's run. So we'll uh, tell the uh, shortcuts to run and minimize. And there is no icons associated with that program since it is a, uh, a uh, program without a, a GUI and interface. So we can utilize one of the uh, dynamic link libraries inside of Windows. Uh, default is shell 32, but I found that inside of Windows 98 actually has a really nice one. So it's called Image Res DLL. It's only available inside of Windows 8. So this is our log off. Let's see, I like that icon there. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to hit plot. We're going to do the same with restart. We're going to run minimize. Let's go ahead and change the icon. Uh, we don't want shell 32. We don't want image res. Okay. One. Last but not least, we'll do the shutdown. Okay, Oop. let me bring that back up here. Now we're going to right click on them and pin to start. And we'll close it down. And we'll go back over to the start menu. Scroll over and here we have them. 
There's our just kind of ring them over, line them up. You can put them anywhere you like, and there we go. Log off, restart, and shut down. And then, of course, as an extra bonus, I created that folder. So, what I can do is, I can actually go out here, select that folder to use as a toolbar. I'm going to unlock the taskbar and I'm going to pull that over to this side. I'm going to slide this all the way over like that. I'll lock my taskbar and ta da! You can actually perform uh, the same three functions right here, and you have your what looks like a little, you know. So start. What can I say? You can still hover over the corner and bring up the standard start menu. But now you see how you can create and kind of get the same uh, feeling and function of uh, Windows 98 or say Windows 7, or uh, you know, get the uh, at least get those functions back so it doesn't take you five steps just to restart your computer. All right, for more geek tips, uh, go on over to geeksandphoenix.com. Check out the geek blog, or you can go into the uh, the categorized tips, uh, which would be the uh, Windows 8, 7, Vista, XP, got some Android, all sorts of stuff over there. All right, until then, take care.